I'm glad Governor Bashir finally decided to come to Fancy Farm. It's been the first Saturday in August for 143 years. All right, that was Senator Mitch McConnell this weekend at Kentucky's annual Fancy Farm Barbecue. The 81-year-old's health has been a concern around <laughs> Washington. To put it mildly, McConnell has represented Kentucky in the Senate for nearly four decades. It is the longest-serving Senate party leader. Currently, the minority leader obviously has a couple of health issues, 81 years old. He says he can run for re-election in 2026. Chris, should somebody remind that crowd that was chanting retire that they actually have a say in whether he does or does not retire? And they're the ones who voted and elected him? I think a little context might be helpful on what Fancy Please. Farm is. Uh, and it's a cool institution. Uh, it's, you know, since the earth cooled uh, on the first Saturday <laughs> in August, uh, it's this big political conclave they have in Kentucky. And you, it's like a straw poll in the sense people try to motivate their supporters to go there and chant this and chant that and do the other thing. Um, so I don't think Mitch McConnell was surprised to have a hostile reaction. The other thing is, Mitch McConnell is not popular in the Commonwealth of Kentucky. Uh, and every time he's up for re-election in the past, now I don't know whether he really will run again, uh, but in the past when he's been up for re-election, two things happen. A Republican says, I'm going to primary this guy and we're going to take him out because he's not popular because he's an establishment squish, and that person loses. And then the Democrats spend enough money to burn a wet elephant in Kentucky because they're going to knock out Mitch McConnell, and then he wins again, uh, and usually by more than what was estimated. All of that is interesting, but what's important is that the Republicans have a good Senate map in the coming cycle. And Mitch McConnell is the only person that we know of that can unite the Republican senators around their favorite thing to do, which is to get reelected, and they hope retake the majority. And when you look at West Virginia, when you look at Ohio, when you look at Montana, you see some, some, some shots to easy or very probable wins for Republicans, and that would put the majority in their hands. With Mitch McConnell in the condition that he's in, and after that episode that he had, uh, the and uh, I hear it, I know everybody hears it, I'm sure Julia hears it, the anxiety among Republicans in the Republican Senate conference about whether Mitch McConnell, who is the only thing that's holding them together uh, right now, whether he's going to be able to be of the strength that he once was going into this cycle is a wide open question. All right, Cassie, is that a well-founded thought? Yeah, and well articulated. Just to underscore, heckling is the part of the sport of Fancy Farm. So I think that context Are is important. Are you a Kentuckian? I'm not, oh, okay. but I'm a fancy I am actually a watcher. Kentucky colonel. Did you know that? <laughs> well, if you can like, be one, that says all we need to know about uh, Kentucky colonel. As a West Virginian, I was made a Kentucky colonel. Oh, I was like, like a fancy thing? I want that in my or... epitaph. That's I, right. I think okay. establishment squish should go up on a bullet. I'm still stuck on wet elephant. <laughs> 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 you need a lot of money to burn a wet elephant, Let's be honest. Never tried. Look, I think, though, that this, Cassie, brings up an important point, right? Senate's generational breakdown, silent generation 8%, boomer 66%, uh, Gen X 23%, millennial only um, 3%. Uh, Democrats have this problem, okay, Dianne Feinstein, who just signed over power of attorney to her daughter, but still seems to think that she can represent the people of California. How that works, I don't know. But Republicans have an equal problem with this. You got Chuck Grassley, you got Mitch McConnell. How, how do Republicans motivate a young Republican base when you've got people who are that old and say, we want to kick out the establishment Democrats when you got people who are that old? First of all, Chuck Grassley's Twitter is fire. That's how I learned about corn being knee high by July. Thank you, Chuck Grassley. But I will say it's two things, and Chris touched on this. Mitch McConnell, the tactician, and he knows the Senate and the Senate. I was only a Senate staffer for seven months, and it's complicated, and there's a lot of variables and a lot of factors, and he keeps it all together, and, and he is the true north of the caucus. Um, most, even on the left, wish they could have that. I mean, just look at the judges that are now justices. That's Mitch McConnell's doing, and conservatives will always give him grace because of that. So I think that's notable there. As you know, Chris, like, no one can beat him because at the end of the day, people have to respect the work that he's well, done. And I think Chris Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.